Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today, once again, I'm joined with Eric. Say hi, Eric. <laughs> We're exploring a cool spot he found, um, doing some research, and he wanted me to come out and really help him research because he thinks there's a lot of really good stuff out here. So we're potentially looking for septarians, petrified wood, and even agates. A lot of cool stuff. We're not too far from Moab. Moab's off in that direction. And we're just gonna, yeah, kind of explore this area out here. And yeah, we just wanna see what we can find out here. The layers look good. Who knows? I did uh, find this right here. <laughs> Looks like some Jasper, maybe agate. Maybe came off wood. I can't tell. Anyway, so exciting. We'll see what's here. I'm not going to give GPS to this right now because we are researching this. Because if it pans out, it might be a really neat spot to possibly, um, possibly stake a first claim. Don't know. We'll see. All right, let's get out there and see what we can find. Just found this sitting on the ground. That is definitely some petrified wood. I mean, not the best color, but it is nicely agatized or. It's really solid, and you can definitely see some patterns in there. So not bad. Here's another piece of wood, a little bigger. Not as nice though. This is kind of more the bleh, brittle wood. And definitely some, some, seeing some kind of brown jasper out here. Yeah, these hills out here are sure pretty to look at. Just found this piece of wood. A little bigger, a little better. Keep looking. Here's a few more things. Here's some more wood, different color there. Here's a, a nicer piece of wood though, look at that. So yeah, a lot of this is nice and solid wood. Not the best color, but really cool still. And we're starting to get a look at some of these concretions that you get up here. So so there's some uh, septarians he was talking about. We'll have to get up to those. Here's some pieces of the wood sitting out. You can definitely see how some of it's starting to look nice. Occasionally we get a little bit of color coming through some of these. Okay, so there is some decent possibility for some good stuff. There's a bigger piece of the wood right here. Very dark wood. Definitely would like to get some color. Oh, and here's some really brittle wood right there. Brittle wood. Okay, this is a nice piece. Look at that one. Now that is a beautiful piece of wood. Now, we just need to find a big piece that looks like that. Yeah. Look at that piece. Let me spray that one off. Oh yeah, look at that piece of wood. That's nice. Yeah, we want a big piece of this. Yeah. This up. Right, let's get this one out. <laughs> there it comes. Oh yeah, I think that'll be pretty nice. Let me spray that off. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, taking that one. Here's one Eric found. It's got some cool texture on it. Yeah, maybe we can get some nice crystals growing on some of these. Yeah. Starting to pop out, pop out all over the place now. Yeah. There's a nice looking one. There's a nice looking one. There's a bigger piece right there. Oh yeah, this is getting great. Pieces everywhere. Ooh, that one looks really nice. Look at that one. Oh, look at that one. It's got some red in it. Oh, beautiful piece. Nice. <laughs> I saw that. I didn't think it was gonna be that. <laughs> wow, let's spray this thing off. Well, I'll get it home and get it better cleaned off. <laughs> I think that's going to be really nice. Yeah, that is really cool. I think I might keep that one. Oh, I think I see something over here too. What do we got? Oh yeah. Look at that nice piece too. Wow, there's going to be tons here. Guess I'm going to have to really pick and choose what I'm going to keep. Here's this big chunk of wood washed off. So. Yeah, not the prettiest wood, but there sure is a lot of it. More wood. This stuff is all over. So cool. Just found this big piece of wood. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's some 
good sized stuff out here. Just found my first piece of septarian up here. There's that ye lovely yellow calcite in it. And there you can see kind of the, the outside of it. That's, that's how septarians look like on the outside. Basically a big ball of mud that got rolled up and you get calcite crystals growing in it. Really cool. Another big piece of wood. <laughs> I like that piece of wood. That's nice looking. Oh yeah, I think I'll take that one. Oh, look at that big chunk of wood. So I was gonna get that out, but then I got distracted by another piece right there. And then there's another piece on the hill. And then Eric had to go and say, wait, take a look up here. <laughs> so, wood, wood, wood. <laughs> another big chunk of wood right there. That's not very good quality, but that one there. it's a big chunk of wood. And then, where was it? Oh, right there. <laughs> Two pieces right there. Oh man, so come much. Take, come take a look at this view. Oh, coming to take a look at the view. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're seeing that on here. <laughs> um, we have a tree. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, all of a sudden, the other pieces I found, not so great anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like it came out right there. And wow. Look at this. Wow, look at the knot on that side. That is fantastic. Oh, and that one has a little bit of red in it. Oh, quartz pocket right in the middle there. Wow. Look at those pieces. So you've got one underneath that, that one, this one, and then this giant here. <laughs> Dang. Just for reference. Wow. For scale. There's <laughs> and then some broken pieces all around. Wow. Yeah, all those pieces I found now feel so irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. Right? Wow. <coughs> Dang. <clears throat> I want to go look where it came out of now. Yeah. <laughs> Piece there. Yeah, let's go look at where it came out of up here. So this helps us determine exactly what layer these are coming out of. Look at that lovely thing. Oh yeah, look at those druzy pockets in there. Look at that log. Dang. Look at that thing as it goes back into the hill. That is a tree. That is an entire tree. So there's the layer. Trace that layer, we'll probably find other trees. Let's take a closer look at this. Look at that, quartz pockets. Now obviously not the quality of some of the really good redwood that you get in Southern Utah, but still, so cool. These little pockets in it, just, it's just so cool. Yeah, it's better to appreciate this if you see it from back here, right over here. I mean, just look at that thing. Entire log, and who knows how far that goes back. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So below the log, finding some really good pieces I can take back. This has got some red in it. So that one I think will be a good one to take. Oh, maybe some other really good ones in here somewhere. Oh, no. I heard him commenting over here for some reason. Oh, found a some hole. Petroidal, but yeah, things oh, gonna be full of quartz. A hole going back that way. You'd have to clean it out, but I can oh, see man. points in there. <laughs> So after taking a bunch of the stuff out of my pack, I decided to, uh, uh, well, I decided to take a bunch out, look at it, see what I actually wanted, and then kind of grab the ones I thought looked really nice that were around here next to the tree. Now, another thing I neglected to do is we decided to go up to look for the septarians, and I didn't take the cam camera with me because we're going to drive up there 
and do more there. But while we were there, I just quickly grabbed a few things to show. So there's there's these beautiful septarians that have these wonderful dog tooth calcites all through them. And some of it's nice and yellow or even brown. But what fascinated me was this right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks different. It has a different shape to the crystal. And looking down it, it looks like it has four sides. This may be some brown barite in here. If that's the case, that's really cool to have septarians with calcite and barite. Here's these crystals all washed off. Now, there still is some stuff on them that I could probably get off if I do some more cleaning, like if I was to get it into a sonic bath or something. But these are nice, clear calcite crystals. Yeah, I think these are going to be really, really good septarians. Here's this little bit of calcite all washed off. As you can see, they are very clear crystals. That is really nice. Here's this piece of wood washed off. I really liked this piece. Look at that. Botryoidal chalcedony on it. Really cool patterns in it. Yeah, this was just overall a good piece of wood. Yeah, I like it. So I'm gonna head back down to the vehicle and we're gonna drive up on top to where we can ease, more easily access the septarian conversions. Now I, had, I didn't film what was up there, but there's some big nice ones. So I'll show you when we get up there. So yeah, let's hike back down to the vehicle and let's get up on top and see what we can find there. And we're at the top. So uh, we have a nice view from up here. Just take a quick gander, really nice view. Let me walk over here. <laughs> Looks pretty. Really nice view. So we're just parked right up there. Actually, it's over there, sorry. So we're just parked right up there and you just walk down here and here you are seeing the septarians. So when they're broken open, you get these nice calcites. Some are white or colorless. Some have this kind of yellow brown. And there's an example of one that's broken. See big stuff there. Stuff's coming out just below this layer in this. So look at that. Tons of them have these pockets just covered in little calcites, dog tooths. And some of them get pretty big. And they just follow this lane going all the way down. It's really neat. So just right down there, I found this broken one. And look at this dark stuff in it. Um, it does feel like it has a little weight to it. I do, th I am starting to think that some of these have barite crystals in them. They're just kind of like what we see up at Grand Junction. The barite comes, seems to come after the calcite. It's in the center. So this is really cool. I, I'm really starting to think this is barite. That is cool. Yeah, that's so unusual for calcite to have that color. I think that's barite. And the way it's breaking, see how it's breaking? It doesn't look like calcite. Oh, that should have been the dead giveaway, huh? It does not break like calcite. I really, really think we've got some really dark root beer colored <laughs> barite. Oh, that's so cool. I've now found more pieces. Look at that. That seemed to have it in it. Oh, this is getting exciting. All right, Eric just found this one. Look at the top there where the barite goes colorless right there. It looks almost the quality of the book list. Look at that. Beautiful barite spray right in the middle right there. What a find. <laughs> so this is a really big one, too big to take back. I just broke off the top and look at this. It's just an entire spray of barite through here. I've been pulling out pieces of it and putting it here. It's beautiful stuff, let me show you. Look at this one. Look at that barite crystal right there. And it's this beautiful dark root beer color. Love it. So I've just been making my way through this rock, just grabbing all the pieces that I can because I want to try and get the ones that are the nice terminated clear ones, which probably only a few of them, but I think it's worth just grabbing everything for in case. So these are all the ones that I found that have some good looking barite on it that I was gonna take it back, get everything cleaned off, and we'll be able to get a better look at all this stuff. And here's the bag full of little ones. 
Here's this big septarian all washed off, and look at all those barites in the middle. Man, if we could just get some nice, clear, completely terminated ones still sticking to the rock, that would be something. But yeah, look at that. That is really cool. So I'm done with that spot over there. I'm gonna head over here and see what they're digging up. How's it going? Find anything real nice? What you got over here? Oh, look at them calcites. Oh, that's gonna be amazing once you clean that off. Look at all those dog tooths in there. Now that's a piece. This thing. Oh, hand that back to you. Just got. Oh, look at that right there. Oh, sorry, I don't have the, <laughs> the close-up lens on, but you should be able to see that if I hold it out here. You are covered in dog tooth calcite crystals. All right, let's look at some of these close-up. <laughs> look at that. These will look amazing once they're washed off. Just dog tooth calcites everywhere. So nice. Neat. So they're up there digging more of them awesome septarians out. I decided to come back down to where we were finding the wood over here because I noticed that there's another tree coming out and I think I see a piece of it down there. So let's go take a look at it. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Yeah, it's very fractured, but it does look like it has a little bit more color than the one on the other side. Look at that. Wow. Look at that dreezy right there the log <laughs> wow this is so cool you don't find places like this much anymore where you've got this nice wood just just entire logs of it sitting around and of course if you go down you'll find broken pieces of it just down a ways oh there's a piece of it there's a piece of it ah oh, it's just so cool it's an entire tree just there. So, I was noticing on this big log, look at those crystals in there. That's not quartz, and it's not calcite. Those are barite crystals. So some of the wood actually has barite crystals in it. I mean, these aren't as pretty as the ones we've been digging out over there, of course, but it's barite. Oh. And there's a piece of the wood with the barite in it. Might take that back. I just wanted to take a moment and show you everything that we got. So, oh, a few stragglers sitting over here. So some smaller pieces of the wood, that huge, nice barite geode. Well, septarian. Just tons of pieces of barite. These are all broken crystals of barite. And lots of wood. Yeah, I kept mostly pieces that had the actual barite on it while Eric kept a lot of the ones that had the really nice calcite on it. So I might have to show you his stuff in another video, the really cool calcite he kept. And we're back at the vehicles. Oh, that was a big hike up because I went back down to see if I could find a tool that Eric lost and then hiked all the way back up. Oh, oh, I'm winded. But yeah, we're back at the truck. That was fantastic. I, I give Eric my stamp of approval. I think this would be a great claim for him, so. Well done, Eric. Fantastic. Barite, calcite, septarians, petrified wood, jasper agate. It's got it all. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.